Ah, it's been forced. So they must have known what they were doing. Maybe last time was a trial. And this time they made sure they got it right. Can't be very clever though, can they? Stealing broken cars, what's the point in that? Well, maybe it's not the cars they're after. Maybe this is a message. Your brain's addled. What, what do you mean, message? The cars go missing. Doesn't look good on me. My business suffers, doesn't it? Yeah. But A, you've not got a lot of competition around here, have you? And B, who's going to take you on? I know I said you could have it this way, but that's when I thought I could get all of the parts. Yeah, I've tried, but there's nothing. OK. Excuse me, listen. I know this might sound a bit harsh, but if you want to risk driving a death trap, then come and pick it up. OK. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll just be a few days. Thanks, I'll be in touch. You, uh, sure blagging the customers is a good idea? Just biding me time till I can work out what's going on. When the cars turn up abandoned and the police are knocking on the owners' doors. Well, we better find them, aren't we? So we can forget that pint and start driving about. What? You want pain, don't you? Like I said, stay at those cars and they can't go far. Hey, hard at it, I see. Business must be on the slow side. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. What's that all about? Just winding me up, that's all. He's lucky I don't wipe that smug smile off his face. I'm giving the satisfaction. Obviously got nothing better to do. He was round the garage before acting all smart. I thought he was looking for you. First I heard. So you're busy trying to figure out what happened to them cows we had next. I mean, don't think that's a coincidence. No, I hadn't. I'm gone. What, you think Moira's brother did it? Well, I know who my money's on. Seriously? You can be daft enough to do something like that? And the one way to find out, you ask me. Well, if you're all right, he's just made the biggest mistake of his life. <laughs>